In the story, every time you hear this sound, please turn the page. This is the first book in the series, Tales of Montague Dragon, The Lonely Dragon. In pasts long forgotten, in times without end, there lived a young dragon who longed for a friend. So make yourself comfy and snuggle up tight, and I'll tell you the tale of our Montague's plight. He lived in a cave on the side of a hill, deep, damp, rather gloomy, with always a chill. He dreamed of a wood near a river that bends, but the one thing he longed for was really a friend. This was the reason why our little dragon one day packed his bags in the back of a wagon. He'd had quite enough of this cold, dreary place with its leaky old roof and cold wind in his face. So he set out one morning and pulling his cart, made his way south to much warmer parts. He'd walked many days, and his feet were quite sore, when Montague thought, I can't go on much more. So he sat himself down by the road with a sigh, and our poor little dragon, oh, how he did cry. The cry was so loud, it frightened the beasts, who thought that the dragon would make them his feast. The animals turned and ran fast down the road, save one little creature, a green warty toad. The brave little toad hopped up to the dragon. He noticed our friend had been pulling a wagon. The dragon sat up with wide open eyes, for the green warty toad had taken him quite by surprise. Why are you crying? asked the green little toad who looked very tiny, sat there in the road. Monty told how he'd left his cold cave in the north to seek a new home of the much warmer sort. Then a trace of a smile appeared on his face, for he'd made his first friend in this out-of-way place. After a while, the toad hopped away and did not appear for the rest of the day. When the sun finally set like a great ball of fire, the green warty toad jumped right out of a briar. I found a big cave. It's a magical place, said the toad with a great beaming smile on his face. It's warm and it's cozy. Then he gave him a hug. I'm sure you'll be snug as a mug in a rug. Toad took young Monty to see the surprise, but gave him a blindfold to cover his eyes. It's just like a birthday, a real special treat, said the dragon, almost crushing the toad with his feet. Inside the cave, with our friend unaware, was the nicest surprise of his life waiting there. The toad took away the blindfold quite smartly, and there in the cave was a welcoming party. All the animals who had earlier fled had returned with the toad and laid on such a spread. They all wanted Monty to stay as their friend in the cave, in the wood, near the river that bends. The dragon said nothing, just offered his hand and picked up the toad, but they did understand. Monty sighed and shed a small tear for the green warty toad and all those near. Our dragon now had many friends, and friends they'd stay right to the end. They ate and sang and danced with laughter, and all lived happily ever after.